Hey everyone, welcome back from the front lines and in today's tutorial we're going in depth into regiments. We're going to talk about what makes it unique, fun to play, and challenging. We're going to do a basic overview of all the strategies you need to succeed in battle or at least the pre-battle phase. So without further ado, we're going to dive right into this. But if you like military strategy, tactics, and doctrine and seeing it applied to strategy games, I guarantee this is the channel for you. So make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you want to see some drone warfare in um, Steel Beast because I'm really excited to bring that to you guys probably tomorrow. Anyway, let's dive right into this. So, regiments. This is our regiment 16. The cursor is quite small, but we're going to start with the, at the very top. It's operational authority. This is how many points you can spend during each pre-battle phase. So currently we have 317. That's because we had a successful operation over here in Lauterbach and brought back a bunch of victory points. I'll discuss how to earn those victory points later on in the video. Over here, we can take a look at our initial regiment. One thing to make note of is that we have both artillery and hinds. That's really going to affect our supplies and our supply lines. We'll discuss that in a few moments. But let's just look at what we got initially. Is We got B BRDMs, um, recon units, tanks, T-72s, um, BMPs, a relatively mechanized unit with some AA. Kind of small. We also, over here on the right-hand side, have heavy artillery that costs 35 points and tactical support and artillery that costs five points. All right, so that's our basic initial regiment that we're bringing into battle. Next up, we have a task force. So that's what these three boxes are. So we know we're going into some heavy, heavy fighting, fighting rebels, things along those lines. Over here, we initially chose task force brick, but I'm gonna show you how to choose another task force. If we click on this box right here, the middle one, it displays three more task force forces. And as you can see, some are tanks, some are mechanized, and some are mechanized. Each one brings something different. This one over here at level one, you can see, brings BTR-70s as well as BRMs. And then it keeps going up. It's more recon-focused, BRMs, BTRs, and BRMs, BTR-70s. Each of those have different weapons. They could have ATGMs. They could have longer range. They could have better advanced night sights, things like that. You can also see that it brings additional tactical support. So all the way at level three on this one, it's going to bring us an artillery barrage. It costs 30 tactical support. Each level up costs 50 points, as you can see, those 50s, but its initial cost is going to cost 100 operational authority. Over here, we have another task force. This one's more BMPs, 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 and artillery at the end with an artillery strike. Initial cost, 100 points. And then over here, we have uh, more of a heavy armored, armored task force and it costs 75 operational authority. It brings artillery smoke all the way up to the top, so you get tons and tons and tons and tons of smoke. So you think as you're fighting your battle, you're just dropping smoke, pushing these tanks forward, dropping smoke, tanks forward, smokes, tanks, smoke, tanks, smoke, tank, over and over and over and over again. And these are T-55s as well as um, mobile artillery. So with that, I've done a video on mobile artillery on why it's beneficial in your battle. It auto-targets units. It has a nice range. It can manually target as well. But if any units within its, within its visibility, it's going to target those units regardless. So something to make note of, this, is going, this task force is possibly going to need an HQ unit because it's going to allow you to, one, you're going to have the HQ is going to provide more accuracy. It's going to reduce suppression. So you're just going to be smoking attack, 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 especially with task force stern. It's heavy heavy armored warfare with lots of attacking. The task force we currently have is Brick right here. Brick, sorry. Um, up here we can upgrade it if we want for 50 points to level two where we get more tanks as well as a, looks like another HQ unit and more tanks and another HQ unit. We also get more napalm each time. So napalm is going to suppress the enemy. It's going to allow us to attack. And realistically, do, do, we, do we need a bunch of smokes? Because we already have a smoke. So it really really depends on how you want to push the assault with this one. Um, these HQ units are going to be very, very beneficial as you continue to upgrade them. So next up, we're going to talk about all of these deployment points, tactical, tactical support, supplies, and external support. So deployment points are how many points you use to deploy your units or how many units you can bring on the battlefield. As you can see, we have 725 out of 3,000. So as we wage war across the battlefield and we come to the conclusion that we need more units, we're going to need more points, and this is going to cost 75 operational authority to upgrade if we wanted to do this. Here's our tactical support. Um, we can continue to upgrade this. It just allows for more attack aid more often. Up here, it costs 50 points. It gives us a little plus one. It goes all the way up to plus 10. So each point just adds 10%. So at the end, you just have 100% more tactical support. 
um, if that's how it scales. Supplies, as I mentioned earlier, we have heavy artillery, we have artillery and we have helicopters. Those are realistically going to burn through a lot of our supplies. As you can see, we have 1,200 out of 2,000. We can continue to increase our supplies if we want. Um, it doesn't really increase the maximum storage, but it just allows us to buy 200 supplies. Um, next up, we have external aid. It's more for like defense, um, like deploying defenses. Uh, I'm not really big on it right now. I haven't utilized it too much, um, but it may be something worth exploring later on. And then back up at the top up here at, at our regiment, you can see that we need to restore units. These are units that we lost in battle. So let's click on each of these to restore all of these units, restore up to four units. And that cost quite a bit. We lost around 50 operational authority right there. But now our force is basically restored. We have one supply truck, so we need to make a few more decisions before we go into battle. All right, um, do we want to check out another task force or do we want to upgrade a task force? Or do we want deployment points? I say we increase our deployment, add another task force. Let's, let's check out these tanks since we already have an HQ. Let's call this unit in and then let's add more deployment points. So we're at 875 now. Actually, we could do another attack aid as well. Let's do that. All right, we're broke. Fantastic. All right, over here on the right-hand side, we can see all our victory points. We very clearly won this first battle. It took two phases for us to win that battle. Up here, we see how many victory points we earn per victory. If we at per yeah per victory, if we beat like this area, we get 100 victory points. If we um, finish this area, we get 125, and I believe this one down here was worth 100. So up here at the top, you see here's our victory points. At 170, we get a normal victory. At 200, we get a better victory. And at 230, we get a maximum victory. So we're currently at 100. So basically, if we get achieve these two objectives, we will get a good little medium victory. And if we get a bit more victory points, we'll get more. Anyway, if you click on operational log, it tells you a bit, a bit of things, what's going on through the battle, um, changes, so you can kind of get a pre- a uh, little history on things, Afghanistan, Poland, lots of just random little notes. Then we need to click two events. Here at two events, we're going to pick a card. There's going to be four cards. You have to play f through all four of them before it resets. Obviously, there's good, bad, and neutral. I already I used the neutral one last game, so we could do extended operations and increase it by six minutes. Um, I don't really want to increase this battle by six minutes currently, so we're going to do uh, 30 negative 30% re um, suppression resistance. So we're going bad. All right, the enemy is gonna be a bit more challenging to fight. And then we go into the actual battle after this load screen is loaded. Just a few moments. Once we're in the battle, we're going to take a look at how to deploy our unit. New objective received. If they're not already deployed. Yep, this is the first battle of this one. As you can see, this one's a network. So, if I remember correctly, I don't think we need to secure these two, both these objectives to next stage right here, all right? So we need to fight all the way to here. So the fastest way possible is obviously going to be straight through. So we have um, battle position, battle positions, or objectives, objectives, all the way straight line to this to this area. All right, so that's worth noting. We could also fight our way across this open line. If we get this, I believe we get more ability to call in units. So. Let's locate our dudes. So how do we want to do this? So how to call on units. If we click this unit, this box right here, zoom in a little bit, grab our BRDMs, and we just want to recon up, right? And we're going to send our units towards this tree line. Tanks are going to push forward towards this tree line. And as you can see, every time we call on a new unit, it's going to cost us um, reinforcement points as well as supply points. We're going to send our BTRs to this tree line as well, our B BTRs as well. We're going to get our mobile artillery at least kind of mid-range between both units so it can provide um, air support or artillery support. We're also just going to deploy our AA. We have 350 more points. We're going to check out our, we're going to put our M1s into action, our M124s. And then we're going to, we have we could actually call in this HQ unit. I want to call in this HQ unit first before anything else. Then when we hit the space bar, we unpause. All right, forces start doing what they do. Everyone's moving out, so we can scroll in, zoom in. Um, use a little mouse wheel to rotate, obviously. Um, 
I hides the UI, O hides the mouse cursor. All right, F1 goes into free camera mode and everyone's just going to battle. Here we go and let's take a look. We have a lot of T72s with a lot of experience heading to battle. Not my biggest fan, ideally. I think these would be better on the um, back lines at this point, training new units if they are that much more experienced so they can br bring something new. But I think that really aligns with like force protection, force preservation doctrine, something I really want to talk about in a later video. Also, and as you can see, we begin taking fire. Don't really know what this unit is. Looks like tanks, definitely in a heavy position. We need to rotate. We need a, a lot of front facing units and we're immediately breaking those front lines. These M1 Hinds are doing an outstanding job at suppressing. Lots of fire, lots of mortar fire coming up. Someone's identified something over in this objective. We're going to continue to push forward. I think I'm going to run into something. There's a unique mechanic coming forward. These units have dug in, so after 30 seconds, they're going to begin digging in and taking into a reinforced position. This unit is getting shot from the flank. We need to face this unit, remember. There's side, front, and side and front armor in this game, so we never want our flank, especially facing a BTR or any sort of unit that has that could heavily that could easily penetrate our armor with ATGMs. So what we could do is we could pop smoke right here just to obscure some vision, get rid of that guy, and then we need to hit X to deploy this unit. It looks like he's already deployed. He's dug in. We need to provide him with some fire support. So we have T. We can start mortaring these tanks right here. And you see these tanks are losing this battle because they're well within our range of our ATGMs. And this unit's actually extremely experienced. So we're easily going to storm that, roll over that unit, as you can see. Uh, we're going to continue to bring our, P our BTRs up. We're going to get up, set up on the flanks. These ones are extremely experienced as well. And there's also some tank fire coming in on that unit. So I really think we're going to steamroll a lot of this a lot of these people. One thing to make note of right here is there's uh looks like a bunch of barbed wire. We don't have we don't realistically have any engineers to take that out, so we're just going to attempt to navigate around it. It's going to be quite frustrating, but I think that's what we're going to do. Ooh, there's a little anti-tank unit right here. All right, that's actually pretty awesome. Is this our BTR? It is not our BTR, but we do need to provide fire support. All right. So let's continue navigating this area. Let's see if we can break through. This unit's doing quite well. Another BTR and BTR action. Lots of violence. Hit X to dismount some troops. As you can see, we have our first new symbol. This one's running low on ammo, so we have two choices. We can either bring a supply truck up or we can retreat it. So realistically, we don't have any um, deployment points. This little 30 right here where my mouse is, if we hit space to pause so we don't miss any of the battle. We can see that we need supply. We don't have enough supply or deployment points. Over here is our supply. We do have plenty of supply. So we could retreat this unit if we wanted to. So we do that by hitting QQ. So the space bar, click this unit. I don't even think that's our unit. That isn't. All right. So onwards and upwards, not our concern. Rage on. All right, artillery's artillery, recon's reconning. We're pushing across this open field. Troops are dismounted, so we're going to move a bit slower. I'm gonna dismount these troops as well by hitting the X key. And as we push forward, we are going to do some battling. All right, we've secured this first objective, so let's continue our assault across this battlefield. These are our guys right here. Let's go. We're a bit behind this assault. Assaulting is that's, that's the enemy. Let's call a little heavy artillery on this unit. Get rid of him. His face bothers me. Next up, we really need to get supply lines going. All right, we're gonna see some action right here. These don't look like our units. Let's rotate that camera. Hit the U key. Or well, the I key, not the U key. Artillery is falling. Look at that. an absolutely fantastic shot this game is like fairly graphically unique which is something to be that's actually kind of cool about it all right continuing our push i think we could probably get all three of the, these in one go Hit i one more time bring our ui completely up we need our tanks in this battle they're really taking their time we want to maintain the momentum maintain momentum dictate the battle pace with that being said, our AA needs to move up, our these guys as well. Everyone's going to continue to move up. Realistically, I think 
we already own that little battle position. The red and blue is kind of throwing me off. I thought it was opposite last time I played. I thought it was blue and red, but I don't remember. All right, let's continue to move forward. We, sh we have a new deployment point, as you see, or possibly. Let's keep going. All right, it looks like the we have a radio intercepted, some counterintelligence coming through. We are going to have one to pl two platoons shortly. I bet we could beat this whole scenario if we had that six minutes. Um, realistically, it's going to be about time management. Um, if we had combat engineers, I would bother with these defenses. We don't have any combat engineers, so I'm not really realistically trying to break through any sort of enemy front lines right now. Sorry, guys. It is more. It is a bit of a hassle. We're just going to continue pushing. We have napalm on standby. Um, our our allies not doing too much. Too too much. Oh, we forgot about these dudes. Holy crap! Mo holy Moses! Right. Um, continuing to push. We want to get our artillery up. We want to get our, our recon up on the front lines. We have our new contact coming in. Don't really have a line of sight. That's not our unit, but he could possibly hit us on the flank. Continue this momentum. Tanks up. Don't really want to lose any sort of battle. That's an artillery. Easy. Going to be easy. Look, we have artillery back here. Heavy artillery on this guy. I don't like his face anymore. 14 seconds. We're going to deal with him. Mobile artillery unit. We're just going to push hard. Continue to push, continue to push. There is an unidentified unit in this area. Units continue to push. Everyone BTRs, BTR 70s. We need to maintain momentum. Artillery is coming up. Lots and lots of tank fire. Here we go, BTR. I don't like how this unit's flanking him. Another BTR, rifleman cover. Artillery is doing work on this back line, suppressing that artillery that was causing us quite a problem. Um, Heinz are running out of ammo. We're going to retreat them. We're going to push our artillery up to this position right here. As you can see, we don't see any units within that building. Um, once those Heinz are gone, we are going to follow up with the rest of our units right here. Continue to move. We need this HQ unit to get into position to provide fire support. Is this us? That is not us. Still attempting to maintain momentum. All right. Our T-72s are doing a lot, a lot of good work. All right, we find ourselves deep in urban warfare. We need to make a lot of considerations right here. We need to seek cover, driving people out. We got to look for obstacles, obviously, and just slowly, slowly battle our way across. We have tons of tactical support, 51, I believe. We have lots of firepower at our disposal. This unit's exposing its flank. Not my biggest fan because we're receiving fire from the back lines. So while, we, so while we're being attacked, we're just going to provide smoke. BTR 70s are going to move in. BTR-70 is going to continue to push. There's our smoke. BRDM is going to get up here with our ally. And we're just take... Unfortunately, we had to like take our time right now. I don't really want that artillery that far up. There we go. Identified the unit. Looks to be the artillery. These T-72s should easily be able to destroy that unit. There we go. This is the one that was hit by heavy artillery. All right, two to four platoons in route. Ne once up next, we realistically need to hit the C key. We're crossing a lot of open ground. Um, there could be enemies along this on these reverse slopes in these tree lines over here. We already hold, hold these two positions. Once we capture this one, we're going to move forward and just continue, 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 continue. All right bit of a stall bit of a stall this unit took a lot of damage we're going to bring him about back hq unit is going to continue to press forward this t72 is going to get online we're going to put him in the streets this aa is going to hold this position once we capture it we're going to move forward next up we're going to see what we can deploy we're going to get our hinds back into combat once our hinds are up we're going to continue this assault we have three units right here BTR-70 causing a lot of problems. He's really dug in. He's in an entrenched position. Definitely definitely in lots of cover, but he's basically getting attacked on two flanks. I don't really want to lose this HQ unit. We're going to continue to push this BRDM up to the tree lines. And just like that, that unit's been engaged. And we're going to move these T-72s along this line. All right, our main fighting force is going to continue to push forward. We're going to pull this unit back. We've identified a what looks to be a enemy unit. We're going to hit him with that. 
And let's throw some napalm at him just for fun. All right, napalm's up. Let's find our hind, see if we can provide some more aerial support. I have lost track of our hinds. Where are they? AA's doing good. We're going to move AA up to this position next. They secure that objective, so we can continue fighting along this. They never came out. Come on, Heinz. Let's get to it. There's our napalm. Right along. Oh, there's some anti-air. Fantastic. Let's take a look. Looks like they hit everywhere but their actual intended target. No big deal. This unit's running out of ammo. Um, right, we're kind of poorly managing the supply line. We have lots and lots. Here's this counterattack. I, I, I think this AI should be able to hold them off, but we'll attempt to do some some damage. We're going to bring one of our well-trained BTRs up. This unit's currently getting shot on this flank. It needs a turn. We're going to see if it can fight this unit off. I don't really want to lose this T-72. Let's hit him with a heavy artillery right here. Get rid of that tank. This unit's getting just damaged. It's, he's going to have to pop smoke and get out. All right. That was super, super, super unfortunate for us. Let's pop smoke. There we go. Come on, hit him, hit him, hit him. More bombing runs by the AI. Outstanding. Artillery coming in. All right, smoke's up. A bit off target, but as that BTR comes down the hill, he's basically coming into a hornet's nest. Let's hit that guy with a napalm. We really need to resupply our forces if we have anything to pull out. If we click this box over here. Let's get him back on deck, and let's hit him, have everyone hit him from the flank. All right, position secured. Napalm coming through. Let's see. That's been destroyed. Bummer. All right. And we continue to rage this war. All right, as you see here. Actually, we stop, we stop, we stop, we stop, we stop. Lots of smoke coming in. HQ units trying to get into position. Realistically, a lot of our front lines kind of falling apart. We don't really have anything worth noting. Heavy artillery is coming up a lot. I was hoping to get well within to this town. All right, we have an artillery barrage coming up. That's really realistically going to suppress a lot of this units. We're going to see. Oh, no. We're going to go resupply these hinds. These T-72s are moving into position. He's going to take position in this tree line, and we're just going to attempt to push our BTRs into their next position. I know we've hammered this objective quite a quite a lot. All right. I thought we destroyed that unit. I could have swore we destroyed this unit. I don't want him getting any luck. Any luck. All right. We're getting counter batteried right now. Retreat that AA. All right. And this is why we didn't want to lose any momentum. Looks like the, yep, there's artillery right there. All right, artillery is up. Unit needs to change its position. R this is a hard, hard, hard area to cross. All right. Let's see what we got. All right, suppression resistance. We have three units over here on this flank. Artillery, we're gonna see if we can hit them all. Let's just hammer everything. We need to hammer everything. What deployment points do we have? They're really gonna make getting this next objective quite challenging. These hinds are gonna be extremely beneficial. This T-72 is what we need. This unit's getting shot from the flank. We're gonna immediately have to pull him back. And we realistically, we need to break this siege. This is unit area is heavily, heavily fortified. Not going well for our current assault. We're kind of piecemeal. And as you can see, did we lose that unit? No, they retreated. There's a massive, massive barrier right here. That's really going to slow our movement. All right, AI is finally coming up. Smoke's going to obscure a bit, a few things. This unit still has 21% ammo. M24s are going to slow a lot of this assault, which is going to be fantastic. And those T-64s, well, those T-72s are going to be dealt with. 
All right, AI immediately calls in an airstrike. The second we pull back our anti-air, no big deal. Hines need to get out of there where they're currently at. Get out of here. And let's get you back into position to destroy these tanks, this recon unit. So from the looks of it, we won't be able to cross this front line. That sucks. Unless we realistically want to break through. Um, all right, let's send this hind over here. 50% ammo. We Right now, we currently don't have anyone on deck. we support our support our friendly ally. Let's get going. Let's get going. All right, he's kind of rushing that flank. No big deal. Recon unit's good. This unit's out of ammo. Get him out of the fight. Heavy artillery barrage is up. And HQ unit is still doing good. Kind of strange that that unit lost against that vehicle. Heavy artillery barrage is back line. Recon's still doing good. Five minutes We're going to hit X. Dismount that unit. What's our, what's our little battle looking like? Do we have anything to bring in? We should be able to bring Heinz in shortly. Ooh, T-66. Look at this. This is bad unit placement. We're all clustered right here. All right. I want to obscure a bunch of vision. I want to destroy that unit, but I want to be, I want to start working my way up and then in. All right, let's go. Where are my units? Let's go. This unit's suppressed. All right, we do have Heinz up and running. I think this is the AA. I wonder if I can suppress it. Yeah, it is. I want to shut that unit down. We need to shut that AA down. Get out of range. Get out of range. The world's slowest battle. The world's slowest tanks, my dude. All right, we can secure these next two objectives. I guarantee it. I bet if we can just get this unit, everyone into position. All right, fantastic. We can bring our hinds up. Um, we're actually going to retreat them. We have no more forces, but our force is back up and running. We're going to get our HQ back into position. Our T-72s are going to face and shut down whatever that is. This unit's going to get in and it's going to face that way. These BTRs are going to dismount and we're just going to shut this down. Heavy artillery barrage. I don't like its face. Shut it down. We have three minutes. We have three minutes. We can get this stage in like the next three minutes without wasting 20 minutes. All right. Siege is broken. We just have to cap all three of these spots. All right. Recon's up. We're going to push recon. Two minutes. Two minute warning. That unit needs to break now. Break, break, break. Another unit identified, two units identified, smokes up. Rotate, recon unit, BTR, smoke. Oh, capturing like the world's slowest capture. All right, you move into position. Lots and lots and lots and lots of fire. BTR 70s, go, 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 go. Recon on recon violence. Zone capture. Two minutes, guys. Two minute warning. Two minute warning. We can do this. We can do this. Get these helos back into the battle. Helos still not ready. Would have been fantastic to have helos. All right. Tank's going to push. Come on, guys. Mount up. Mount up. Mount up. Shut that guy down. Realistically, we don't need this second objective. We can just push. BTR 70s push out. All right, come on, guys, shut this unit down. Shut them down. Shut them down. Shut them down. Massive, massive, massive push. Turn. Come on, rotate. All right, units dead. Push. One minute. One minute. Let's go. Let's go. Zone captured. All right, come on, guys. All right, dismount, 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 dismount. Artillery, artillery. 
Come on, guys. Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Artillery up, smoke up, shut it down, shut it down. There we go. Smoke's good, smoke's good. Tank's good. Why is this unit here? One minute forty. Heinz on Heinz on deck. Heinz on deck. Heinz on deck. Get out of there. Come on, guys. All right, tank up. You fall back, T fifty five. Smoke, just continue to smoke, continue to smoke, continue to smoke. Zone captured. What's a dawn? Oh my god, my coffee's probably your dad. All right. Let's get it, boys. Let's get it. That's it. That's all objectives. That's all Zone objectives. Achieved. In less than 20 minutes. Oh my god. Oh my. Come on. This BTR just needs to die. Thank you. Woo! Yay, guys. Good job. And we did good. That's the video. Peace.